Welcome back. It is 543. Riley Children's Foundation believes all kids deserve a healthy childhood. Every year they help so many families get the life-saving care their child needs, and no one knows that better than the Preeti family. And we've introduced you to Elliot before. He was 11 at the time, and it just spent 37 days in the hospital. Elliot was born with sickle cell anemia, but thanks to a stem cell transplant, he is now sickle cell free. Well, Elliot is now 13, and the Preddy family is still just as thankful to Riley for a new beginning. Well, Elliot, what's the biggest difference you've noticed? Energy. Yeah, um, well, all yeah. I can say is energy. You have a lot more energy now. I would concur. Elliot Preddy spends his days after school just like any other 13-year-old, either playing video games <laughs> or spending hours on the trampoline in his backyard. But as his mom, Tremisha, explains, just over two years ago, Elliot's normal was not exactly typical. We were at Riley at minimum every four weeks because he had to have chronic blood transfusions um, in order to keep his pain crises and some of the other complications at bay. And sometimes it was more often than that. Elliot was born with sickle cell anemia, but thanks to a bone marrow donor, Elliot's older cousin, which made his stem cell transplant at Riley possible, the constant trips to the hospital are no more. But after we hit that one year mark, I mean, he went from taking six, seven pills a day to just taking one preventative pill, and he's pretty well cured from sickle cell at this point. Am I going to tickle you again? Mm -hmm. When 13 News caught up with him a couple of years ago, he said he was looking forward to getting back to playing sports again, which was too difficult to do before, but he's made good on those promises. I played flag football not too long ago. I used to play baseball and soccer. I haven't played in a while and we plan to do swimming next. You, you forgot Taekwondo. And Elliot isn't the only fighter in this house. Elliot's five-year-old brother Carter also has sickle cell. You, you've helped your brother through a few crises before. Elliot no doubt understands Carter's chronic pain, but there's hope that his younger brother will soon share in his relief, too. We hope to do the same thing for Carter uh, fairly soon. A rally Christmas giving campaign raises money to offset the treatment costs for children like Elliot and their families. And if you'd like more info on how to donate, you can look for Elliot's story at WTHR.com. Certainly encouraging to see. I believe this is the, mm -hmm. the third time that we've caught up with him. Um, so it's been about two years since that first um, first last time we spoke to him just from right after the operation. And he's, he, as he says in his own words, like the biggest difference, I think I have way more energy. And that's it, so important yes, at that age. Yes, absolutely. So now mom is trying to keep up, but I'm sure she's happy to have that problem now too. <laughs> so that, that, that is awesome. Well, and Riley does so much, not just for the children, but the families absolutely. who travel from all over absolutely. to come mm -hmm. here for treatment. So certainly grown up with a lot of those people mm -hmm. at the hospital there. So